Hi guys, welcome to another Revolve Tech video. Today we're going to be discussing the installation of our STAR unit. It comes shipped in its various components, the STAR itself and our R9 Second Life system. Starting with the R9 Second Life system over here, you'll be unboxing. You'll have your cable packaging, your Raspberry Pi unit, the connection cable or communication cable between the Raspberry Pi and the installed inverter. And your Revo BMS, which connects to the two batteries. As per step one, you may find it easier. I have taken the liberty of prefixing A1 to the positive terminal and B1 to the negative terminal. Take note, insulated points remain insulated. These will be connected to a separate battery and to the BMS. Next, we will be fixing our supplied BMS into the frame, sliding it in gently. You'll come on down, might require a little bit of extra in, just align with the fixing holes. Keeping in mind that this is a two person job, as the components bearing are quite weighty, you'll take your BAT1 ACB lead and be connecting it onto your battery's COM port. Like following, be careful to align it correctly as to avoid bending the pins. Step seven, we're going to be removing terminal lug from the battery negative side of the BMS in preparation for the system negative. Removing the insulation from the lug. And you'll have to Fix it in. Reattaching the removed terminal lug. Making sure it sits flat, making full contact. 
continuing over to step eight, a negative terminal bolt of your second battery. Fixing it to the top one. Step 9, installing back to ACB lead. Once again, please be careful and gentle as to prevent bending of the pins and connecting this. Moving on to step 10. You'll start with battery one. They're clearly marked ACB one and two. You'll follow the sequence into the BMS. Again, making sure to insert the plug properly to avoid damaging or bending pins. From battery two, ACB three and four. Once the step has been complete, you can tuck the cables neatly over the batteries internally here and leave them free. Please do not cable tie them or bend them too sharply as it may damage them. Step 11, securing cable labeled B2 to invert a negative on BMS side. bolt on the second battery in preparation for fitting terminal C2. So C2 is two cables. It is both the positive for the system and the positive for the BMS. Putting them together, top like such, and fixing them into the system. Step 13, you'll be securing cables D1 and D2 
to your green power plug for your BMS. Inserting the power plug into the BMS with your fuses out and the system disconnected to ensure correct connection of your ACBs and functioning of BMS. Once the plug is in, switch on your DC breaker for the BMS. You will see the lights running through the startup procedure. Please remember, all of our boxed BMSs will default at 50% value until that the system has been put through a full cycle. After we have established everything has been connected correctly, please switch off the DC breaker. Step 14, we will be connecting our AC in from your DB to the buzz bar supply and taking your AC out to your DB. Please ensure that both AC in and out breakers are down during this process. So after connecting your system, putting your fuses back into place and powering it up, you'll be connecting the AxPi unit via the supplied power cable, a screen, a keyboard and a mouse to any of the USB ports and the supplied communication cable to the AxPi USB port on any port. To connect it to the local Wi-Fi, click on the Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi network, put in the password and click OK. Once your unit has Wi-Fi, there will be an AxPi video on how to connect to it via TeamViewer or via IP. Once you're done installing and commissioning your AxPi unit and connecting it to the your local Wi-Fi network. Start with the bottom cover. Please make sure to follow the guided cuts for the leveling feet. Then installing your top half, there is a cable that comes taped inside. It is a two-part should you wish to remove this at a later stage. Your end terminal plugs into the shunt over here. Neatly tuck your cabling back inside the cover. And you have now completed your installation. Take note that the battery's capacity is now being displayed via the shunt screen.